Hello YouTube, it's Girl AB. I know you and I have not seen each other for quite some time. I have not been making videos because honestly I have been overwhelmed. We are all in a worldwide pandemic. Um, our, all of our industries have been affected differently and it's just a lot has been going on and I have honestly struggled to stay positive. You know, I always try to be real on here. It's been hard. Uh, and now that summer is ending, uh, I think I'm kind of finally starting to get into a routine. YouTube has been an important place for me during these past months. I really appreciate the people who have still been making videos. They really bring me happiness and joy. And I would like to start making videos again so that I can perhaps bring that to some of you. Thank you so much to everyone who has reached out to me asking me where I am and uh, why I'm not making videos. This is why, just in kind of a nutshell. I think I got a haircut after I last saw you, so this is probably new. <laughs> uh, it has not been shaped up, so please, you know, don't judge me on this shape right now. Uh, it's usually a little better, um, but you know, like a lot of people, I'm a little afraid to go get my hair cut, so it'll probably happen, but so many things have changed, I mean, for all of us, right? So here I am. I am hoping to start making videos. You all know that I don't have a regular schedule. I'm not able to adhere to one, so I wouldn't want to say I have one and then let you all down. But there is something I really want to speak on that's kind of in the zeitgeist right now and popular culture. So I do hope to do a video on that soon. But right now, I thought I would just kind of quickly come back on and also show you the handbag that's been getting me through this pandemic. And that is the Louis Vuitton Flandrin. So I don't know if you're familiar with this handbag. It definitely does not get as much love as I think it deserves on YouTube, um, on Instagram. It's not something that you're going to see someone pull out as like one of their five favorite handbags, even just from Louis Vuitton for whatever reason. But I got this handbag when it first came out. Gosh, when was that? Mm. Four years ago? Several years ago for sure. And when it came out, it had several colors. So this is obviously black. I also had this in a pink, but I sold that because I didn't use it. Uh, it came in a red and I think it may have came in like a caramel brown. That sounds right. But there were a number of colors. And I don't know if Louis Vuitton still manufactures this. I could not find it on their website. But I initially loved this web, this, this website. I initially loved this handbag because it has two ways of carrying it. So of course it has these top handles put through your uh, arm, crook of your arm. And then it has uh, the shoulder. And so I have been using this to death because I love the interior system. And so most of my handbags, uh, you know, I'm looking up there, my Birkins, my Gucci bag, the Her bag, my Nightingale from Givenchy, those bags, they don't have an organization system inside. Like I know I can buy um, an organizer and I actually have for my Birkins recently. So I might do a review of that later. Uh, but I, I'm usually not interested in handbags that have kind of like a pocket system because I don't like to be limited by that. But I love the way the Flandrin looked. I didn't have any monogram handbags. And so I got this kind of to be my one monogram thing. And I've ended up really loving this system because I can straighten out the different um, pandemic essentials, if you will, that I use uh, with the different pockets. So I'm going to do a quick pandemic what's in my bag, if you care, you know, if you don't care, you feel free to cut it off because I know this is not like an exciting what's in my bag. But uh, if you wanted to know what kind of a germaphobe I am, <laughs> stay tuned. Okay, so in sort of the left pocket, 
that you see um, with my uh, different Ziploc bags, I have wipes, which are inessential. And so I actually prefer these to hand sanitizer because it's just kind of a cleaner, a cleaner cleanse. <laughs> Uh, so hand sanitizer leaves my hands usually sticky and so with wipes I really feel like I'm getting everything off and it also doesn't leave the same kind of film on my hands. So I just kind of uh, roll it up to make sure I get all the air out of the bag and also to make it a little more uh, compact. So that goes in there and then I have my water. And then I have two different Ziploc bags that I use uh, for my mask and for any other trash. So like if I use a wipe and I'm not by a trash can, then I'll put the wipe in here. Because I don't want to put any potentially infectious um, trash in anyone else's trash can if I don't have to. So in the middle pocket, I have an extra plastic bag. <laughs> you guys are gonna think I am so crazy. Uh, I also have this, which is, um, it looks kind of like a key, but I actually use this to open doors. So, you know, one of the things that they talked about at the beginning of the pandemic was you didn't want to be touching surfaces. And I've always been kind of iffy on surfaces anyway, because, you know, everyone is touching a door handle, everyone's touching an elevator button. So those are, always germy like even aside from coronavirus so um, I use this to open doors and I love this I will never give this up even after this is all over um, and then I also have uh, what I've always had in here post-its mm. should be a pin somewhere in here oh okay here's a residence in pin <laughs> I think I have several pins in there, but anyway, okay. And then in my last pocket, I have lots and lots of gloves. <laughs> yes, I'm a glove wearer. Uh, um, I have my cosmetics case, which you are probably familiar with. I think this was in my previous what's in my bag, but just to give you Okay, I don't know, it's probably quite dark. But so I have uh, little lotions from Lush. I like to get these samples when I go in and buy something so that I can just kind of scoop out the bigger um, lotion container and put it into here for my purse. I have chapstick, right now I'm using Carmex. There's a lot of stuff in here. I have my contacts uh, solution and my drops. Uh, what is that? Oh, a bobby pin and um, a hair tie, which I don't need anymore because I barely have any hair. <laughs> Hand sanitizer, of course, for when I don't have a wipe. Uh, wet ones. Dramamine for motion sickness. Blotting papers. I never actually use these in a mirror and some tissue. And then I have my key pouch. This is the, from the Fendi Monster series. See, so yeah, I just keep my car keys. Okay, you can't see it. This is so dark. Okay, my car keys are in there as well as some coins. And then last, my Hermes wallet. This is the Bjorn or Burn wallet, I believe, the mini wallet. Is that right? I think so. It's been so long since I talked about luxury handbags, you all. I missed you. Uh, so I love this. I love uh, the organization inside. So there's one pocket like that over there, and then one that I use for my cards. And I just love this. Like, I love the H on the closure. Although, uh, I cannot remember what leather 
this is at the moment, but it's it's not particularly good for a wallet because this has kind of started to fray. I can't really see it there, but when I put it through like this, uh, it sticks a little, and I'm worried that eventually it's just going to start coming up. So far, it's been good, and I like I I've used this for several years now. And I mean, the quality is great. The Hermes quality is always great, but uh, it's wearing a little more than I would hope. I think, I don't know. I think you can see it there. See? Okay. Anyway, just take my word for it. So that is everything. But if I take everything out, or not everything, but almost everything, you can see the interior better so the two big pockets on the side and the zip pocket but I am just so thankful for this because I I need to feel like I have some sort of process to go through to handle this and you know I'm sure some of you can relate that this all feels like something we can't control and so Having this system, having these items makes me feel like I am in some sort of control. So that's it. That's me. That's my Flandrin. Uh, even though I do not think Louis Vuitton still sells this, I did take a quick look at the resale market and I do see these online. Uh, I believe I got mine for maybe $1,200. It was, I think, at about the entry level Louis Vuitton price. Uh, they seem to still be around that right now in the resale market in the 1200s. I, I did see one in like the 2000s, but I don't, I don't know if I'd pay that for this, but it's a great bag. It's really cute. Uh, you can fill it up as much as you want. And that is it for me. So that's my sort of check-in. And I hope that... Uh, you are all still here. If you're not, I totally understand. But I do hope to see you pretty soon with my thoughts on Birkins. So I'll, I'll give you a little taste. Uh, it's my thoughts on Birkins and exclusivity and kind of the rap world. It's really brought Birkins to a whole nother kind of demographic. So I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for staying with me, for listening to me, for liking, subscribing. You all are great. So I hope to see you soon.